Been do it all, same day, long day, export, and I creative on my map. I was raised in that. Taking out creepers, staying away from danger. <laughs> Welcome to the situation with City Game. Yeah. What's up, everybody? We're back with another video. In today's video, we finally got the clickbait can. Brand new. We're going to be reviewing this along with the clickbait tub. So that's that. Before we get into this bonus video, surprise video, make sure you guys drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in GPO content such as reviews, unboxings, and mixes. Also, I do um, upload videos of many different games, gameplay videos as well. So if you're interested in those, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And of course, drop a like, like I said. Also, if you guys are looking for any samples of any flavors, I have all of them. And I will be able to help you guys out. So make sure you go in the description, look at the eBay link. And um, I'll be able to help you out, get yourself to, uh, right and together. So with that being said, make sure you guys are responding to the question in the comment section. I'm going to pin that. Every video from now on is going to have a question. Something simple, nothing major. Make sure you guys are actually responding to that because that shows me that you guys are interested in the content. And it also shows me that you guys want me to push out more content as well. Let's give this video a five like goal. If this uh, video gets to five likes, I would highly appreciate it. Let's get it. So... Like I said, unexpectedly, I don't know if they're a streamer or a YouTuber, um, one or the other leaked a picture. This was probably like a week and a half ago. It had a can of pink drip and clickbait in the picture. Now, this was totally unexpected, especially on my part because clickbait is my number one favorite G-Pro flavor ever. But you guys knew that. So I'm like, what the hell? When, when were they going to bring this shit out? And randomly, everybody's, like, grabbing up from sheets. So, apparently, they're available in sheets only right now. Um, eventually, they are going to end up being on the website. So, I mean, if you haven't gotten a chance to get your hands on it, I would probably either buy it off somebody or be patient. But I ended up getting four pink drips and four clickbait cans from somebody in the G Fuel group on Facebook. So, I'm excited about that. I did post them, and I say thank you for that and all that. But, like, I'm excited to try. I'm going to show you guys the artwork of the can. Clickbait bro is my favorite flavor and I did not expect Clickbait is kinda new still. I did not expect it to get a can flavor before like some of the original OG flavors. So that's the good thing about it. But this is the artwork, bro. Come on. And for those who don't never have a tub, this is the artwork for the tub as well. This is 15 cal formula. Now I did have the tub before. I've never tasted the can. I specifically waited for this video. Um, so this is going to be 100% raw footage. The tub, I can give you guys some similarities of what it would taste like. If you guys ever had a Nerds Rope Gourmet Up, it tastes just like that spot on. But if you haven't had a Nerds Rope, it tastes like either the Sweet Tart Ropes or it tastes like just regular Cherry Kool-Aid. So it's a cherry flavor. So if you haven't had those candies, cherry Kool-Aid would be like the next suggestion. Or any cherry like fruit juice will probably be, you know, spot on to that. Um, if somebody tells you it tastes like regular nerds, rainbow nerds, no. Nerds are like sour and tangy. This isn't sour and tangy. So don't let nobody tell you that. It, it, they're wrong. It doesn't taste like pure nerds. It would have to be like a nerds wrote with the cherry gummy part on it. A cherry gummy bear. A cherry gummy period. Anything cherry, bro. You're going to get you know clickbait but how i'm gonna do this is i already have the ice set up in the shaker i'm gonna pour this in the shaker and then we're gonna take a whiff of them at the same time so i'm gonna crack the can open and we're gonna be you know comparing the smells as well but what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna pour a scoop of the energy formula into my shaker now i didn't use a completely white one i used a digi camo but you can still see you know through that it's kind of translucent for all my newbies with G Fuel, G Fuel scoopers come with the funnel. Those are for water bottles only, so don't fill it up to that. You still want to fill it up. I'll show you guys in a second. Let me get my scoops prepared. I'm trying not to make a mess. Give me one minute. All right, so you want to fill it up to this regardless. If you're going to keep that funnel on, I would use that if you're using a tall boy, which is the 24 ounces. But if you're using a 16 ounce, do not fill it up to the funnel fill it up to this part let's be safe here and it's probably going to be disgusting if you do that but i'm going to pour this in here oh crap 
Yeah, just smelling the powder, you're going to smell pure cherry. <laughs> like, I mean, there's nothing else to it. It's not as complicated as some people make it seem. You know, some people, when they do these reviews, they they say, oh, it tastes like cherry, but it's not cherry. They just don't make sense. I'm not that type of person. I try to make it as simple as possible for you guys. Because I understand some people really do not want to waste money. And I am one of those people. So don't, you know, I'm not going to beat around the bush and tell you something that it's not. It, it's cherry. It's just that simple. All right, sorry, I'm pouring the water in. Put this on safety first. I didn't want to use my faucet water, so I just grabbed this. I'm going to put this lid. Make sure the lid's on. Sometimes you, you may think the lid is on and it goes all over the place. Make sure your lid is, you know, completely secured first and foremost because you don't want to get splashed. Now I'm going to mix it, but, you know, it's a cherry color as far as that. It's like a dark burgundy red. Also, guys, I always say this. You do not have to shake for a specific amount of time. What I do is I shake really hard and fast so that it gets it all um, resolved. But like I said, I would say 30 seconds, maybe put five ice cubes in it to make sure it's cold and the ice helps dissolve the powder as well. So make sure you have at least five ice cubes in it with the water. So we have it all shooken up. This is the official color. Like I said, it's like a wine, red color, burgundy color. Almost like, kind of like Nemesis tea. I do think Nemesis is a little bit darker, but they're kind of similar in color if you have ne Nemesis tea before. Now I'm going to open the can before I open it for people who, you know, don't normally get cans. If you're new to that, this has three milligrams of the caffeine. The tubs have, I think, 140 milligrams, so the cans is 10 times more. So if you're going to do that and you're just starting out, I recommend you drinking a can a day and nothing else as of that. Like, don't even make a shaker after you have a can. You want to start off slowly to know what, you know, your usage is for your body. And then, you know, as you, you know, drink G for more often, you can um, eventually up the dosage. But I wouldn't go over, you know, another can or another serving if you already had a full can just starting out. Then we have that. All right, I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to, you know, smell both of them and kind of compare Show y'all the artwork one more time. Bam, wham, thank you, ma'am. Okay. I'm about to crack this bad boy open. Okay, then we have this. So I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about the smells. Like I said, well, if you had sour cherry, I mean, I guess it kind of smells like sour cherry without, you know, the sour smell. Like you can smell the acid and the sour uh, flavors, it seems like. But like I said, there's nothing else to it. It's really simple. It's just cherry, wild cherry, anything you can think of. Not too major. And wait a minute. Oh, look, I just spilled that on my freaking nose. This smells like cherry too. I'm definitely not cutting this out. Look at my shirt. Anyway. The can smells like cherry, like less of a cherry than the tub does. The tub, it's more potent in the smell. And it's spot on sour cherry without the sour um, smell to it, like the acid in it. So it's real simple. We're going to go ahead and taste both of them. Did y'all see that, bro? That's crazy. I try not to put my nose like directly on the can, but apparently that didn't work right. So we have that. Anyway, I'm going to taste this first, and then we're going to taste again. Yes, sir, bro. We're in school. You already know the vibe. Just say a bus and bus in. Shoo, shoo. Okay, uh, yeah. 100% fire. I think it's a good start of flavor, too, for people that, you know, that's not too sure about what to get. Because it's simple. I mean, it's just cherry, honestly. So... I mean, everybody knows what cherry tastes like. Now, a lot of people may think it's like a cherry medicine type taste. Absolutely not. You don't get any type of medicine by from the taste. It's like a natural, you know, a natural cherry juice to me. I don't taste like cough syrup or anything weird like that. So that's definitely not the case. So I definitely do suggest you guys go out and get clickbait. Um, 100%, 10 out of 10. And it's still available. 
So you might as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and taste the can. They taste spot on, 100%, 100%. Wow, okay, well, so the can, the smell was like super light, so you would expect it to taste light. That's not the case. Um. I do think that they added some type of sourness to the can, though. Like, the aftertaste is kind of sour. Like, it makes me want to smack, but I'm trying not to. But, yeah, it's like a little bit, you know, a tiny bit of sourness in the can. But the, you know, original flavor is definitely spot on from the tub. Um, besides that, you know, sour taste, you know, aftertaste. But I do think that if they do come out on the website... If you like clickbait, the energy powder formula, you would definitely like the can. I like the can. Do I think I like it over Tetris? No. Do I like it over Pink Drip? No. Let me be honest. No. <laughs> um. Do I like it over Raging Gummy Fish? Of course. So there's that. I'm going to have to kick Raging out the um, equation. But like I said, you guys should probably go get it. I mean, it's probably hard to find. I know there are some sheets, not at all sheets. But like I said, if you can get your hands on it, I definitely suggest you try it. If you like clickbait, you'll love it. But yeah, that's the end of this video. So make sure you guys are responding to the question that's going to be in the comment section down below. And also drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like a rock band, relinquished all the time Cause I cannot stand Started maining octane But they lead too much Had to switch to Bangalore I needed someone tough Hit him with the smoke Hey, I cannot see her all them times I spread it, I wish to kill me yeah. Crank 90s all day I love to box it up Updated the store Got a rap on my gun Fortnite crew Gave me green pill It's him Killing us as you see right here, man, dude. Ha, yeah. Come to the spot, let's do things. Let's get faded like blue jeans. Please don't fuck up the routine. We'll get tied down on two strings. Come to my spot, baby, let's do things.